Hi folks, welcome. We'll try that again. Yeah. The first blooper of the day. Folks, we're here with Anne and Lauren from the Dahlia House. Okay. Anne, Lauren, they're gonna show us tubers. They're gonna show us bolts. Sure, I can just, yeah. Show us it all. Okay. This is my basement where we have all of our divided tubers. That's what these are. They're not chicken legs or potatoes. So these are all dahlia tubers. And these are what make the most amazing flowers ever. Yeah, well, like this one is apple blossom. We only got nine extra tubers of this one. Super, super pretty variety. So that um, one's super rare, right? Uh, apple blossom is more rare. Bracken rose is pretty rare. That one sold out in like three minutes on our website. And these are like $25,000 a bulb, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're like nine. All the reds are nine because, you know, I'm keeping the reds in there, but reds aren't my favorite. All the reds are like nine. There's absolutely no way to pick a favorite, but I do tend towards the whiter blushy. I yeah, really blushy, like white. Blushy, creamy. Yeah, creamy. And you're the same, Lauren? Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, the dahlias come in all sorts of forms. So you can have little balls that are this big. Yeah. You can have the dinner plates. They can be spiky. They can be rounded. I There's have so a much technical variety. question. Sorry to cut you off, nope. but... That's probably gonna be the best scene in the whole film where I cut you off. <laughs> what is the difference between a zinnia and a dahlia? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Is that a good question? Is that um, ever asked? I'm is that not allowed? sure I have been. <laughs> that is allowed. It's allowed. So um, usually people start dahlias by using these tubers, and you plant one, and um, you plant it at, like four inches underground, and then at the end of the summer, you're gonna have like 10 to 15 tubers off the same thing. Dahlias are super duper generous. So zinnias are propagated by seed only. You wouldn't necessarily, and they're considered an annual. Dahlias, depending where you live, can be more of a perennial. You can leave them in the ground as long as it doesn't freeze. You're getting a cloned plant if you could do a tuber. If you do a seed, you don't know what you're gonna get because it's been bred and the genes, the genes have crossed and you can get a completely different dahlia that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah. On Queen Anne on the north side, there's many houses that have like big, huge lots of dinner plate dahlias. Mm -hmm. And when I saw them, I thought, WTF, this yeah. is like Dr. Seuss <laughs> in reality. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I could live here. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, Breakout is gorgeous. Um, it doesn't, it's not a huge uh, bloom producer, but the blooms that it does produce are amazing mm -hmm. creamy was new to me last year and is an amazing tuber producer so very very prolific and a great great uh creamy cut there's not a whole lot of flowers with this um these colors on there bunch of cafe au lait. um this is just like the queen of dahlias she's she just plays really well with everyone and it's just so gorgeous if i was going to grow one it's such a cliche to say that but it would be cafe just so. fyi yeah this is just set with love Nobody knows what the f this is. So you're showing this to me like you're so excited for it. And I'm like, well, Dahlia people what? know. Do you know. know we have cactuses that look like one of these? It just, I think it looks like cat. <laughs> and we sell them for like $85. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't think you should put that in the video. <laughs> Like all the part that's screwed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the part that people like more than the informational part. It's because we're all just Honest humans here. I mean, we're, yeah, we're sitting here in my basement with Mima and my Dahlia tubers. What is the name of this? Because I know Jimmy's going to get a shot of it. I don't, well, where did you pick it up from? Like, it's Fancy Pants. A fancy Pants. <laughs> this is Fancy Pants. <laughs> No throwing shade at how disorganized my garage is. So. No. Where are the bodies kept? <laughs> Where are the bodies? So these are ranunculas. You can see the um, all of the roots and stuff. This is called pre-sprouting. So you basically put a bunch of ranuncula corms together and um, in about two inches of soil. And I will dig it up and show you guys. The roots are looking all happy. I mean, these are dang. Lauren, <gasps> these are ready to go. Ooh. So these are two corms right here. These okay, are actually... so there's going to be a flash sale on Instagram here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we could we could maybe bring some of our pre-sprouted corms down. Oh, yeah. When we come on the 15th. Well, are these ones, are we selling these ones yet? Or are these ones just yes, our trials? Yes, yeah, some, some of these aren't on the market yet. I'm yeah. going to love to sell these guys. I thought that we were coming here to film flowers. 
Oh, sorry. Where are the fucking <laughs> flowers <laughs> around it is here? March, Neil. It's March. It is March. We've well, got daffodils. Well, I don't know this is why we're here because <laughs> I'm not in this part of the business. There's a lot of like basically pre-nerding that goes on for the really pretty stuff to happen later. So like mm -hmm. right now, this is a bunch of pre-nerding. So here's my seedling station. Um, let's see, I've got a bunch of snaps. Here's a bunch of snapdragons. And then these are the Dawn Creek zinnias I was talking about when we were talking about zinnias. And when you pet them like this, it stimulates wind and it makes them stronger. These are my um, two houseplant starts. Are you nice. proud of me? Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a sarcastic nice. She's got a really good dark vibe going mm -hmm. on in here. I, I love, love this it. place. Yeah. Oh. I, I feel it. So folks, I'm supposed to be closing this out, but these dogs are having a festival here. I think it's lunchtime now, folks, so okay. thanks for joining us. We're going to Rachmati. If you're in Scandinavia, you should go there for time. Yeah.